Good morning people from Montenegro. Staying in this nice little Airbnb in Kotor Bay. You can just see out the window here. Unbelievable mate. But anyway. So this cruise ship just turns up just after we were having breakfast then. And just above it, I don't know if you can see, there's an old fort there. And in the old town there, there's a zigzag path that leads up to it. I think it's only about 300 metres high, but we're going to go and tackle that in a minute. Just got to walk around the bay. And then this one in front of us, I can't pronounce the name of it. It's about 1,100 metres high. And I think we can go through the mountain on a path up to it. I could see on Outdoor Active, but... We're gonna see if it's actually doable. But yeah, it's lovely here, man. Fantastic. Look at that. Show it up the other end. Just see them mountains up there. It's a 1300 meter one up that end. So we're just coming up to the start of the trail now. It took about 25 minutes from where we're staying. Looks a bit uh, run down like, but... The trail looks decent to be fair. So it's part of the fort there. But I think it goes well higher than that. So our apartments over there somewhere in the distance. It's a nice gradual zigzag path up. Hot though man, it's in the 30s today. And that, um, that 1100 metre beast looks big now. <laughs> nice though man, nice path. So I've just read on the maps, this is actually an old church. You can see there where it does look like a bit of a chapel type thing. And there's your fort up here. Gonna head over that way. Standing up here, oh man. That tree's amazing. So the route we've took, gotta get through this window to get into the fort. <laughs> As you can see, the little arrow. So I'm gonna do the honours. I got that. Not scratch you at all. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get off. <laughs> Come on, do you get in? I might have to give you my bag, I think. Yeah, it gives you some glass in your bag. <laughs> I'm stuck. It's because it's slippy, friggin' marble. Can you be alright? Oh, the things you end up doing. Use a sick though.
weird. Oh, <laughs> I'll flip your leg over. You've got that much. Do you want to just come back in? Right people, as you can see, it's night time now. Just chilling with a little glass of red wine. So you can see here in the mountain. That's where we end up, the top of the fort, where the top light is. And here's the mountain we were actually gonna climb, which didn't happen, and I'll tell you why. So basically, you would have seen on the video that part where we climbed through the fort window. Turns out that path we went up was a mountaineering path, and if we just carried on, we ended up going shorter into the mountains here. Looking at it on paper later on, it would have took about five hours, probably a full day to even get up the summit of that. And we did find out today that the summit is well further past where we can see here, so it was a good job we didn't carry on. But anyway, we jumped through that window, went up to the fort and we tried to get back out the window and jump back on the mountaineering path. And for some reason, Dom was panicking about climbing out backwards. So she said to me, can we go down the other path back into the old town? I was like, well, we're gonna have to go back to ground level and come back up the path. So that was half the reason why we didn't ascend back up the mountain again, 35 degrees in the middle of the day. So we just sacked it off. But anyway, as we were just getting to the old town, there was a guy waiting and there was a barrier, like one of them rolling barriers. And he says to me, where's your ticket? We said, oh no, we haven't bought one. We come up the other path and he says to us, oh, that's illegal. We're gonna have to call the police. And I was like, well, how much is a ticket? And he says, eight euro each. I thought it was a bit blag to be honest, but it turned out it was actually legit. You can see, yeah. He actually gave us the tickets as well. It says they're eight euro. What was quite funny, I, I, because I thought it weren't legit, I said to him, eight euro, and he said, if you're into Brovnik, you'll be paying 35 euro to go up there for it. And I think he's thought we've come off them cruise ships. We ended up in the old town and just sacking the mountain off. And maybe another time, it's too hot here, and I'll tell you what, it's not like hiking in a lake district here. But anyway, bit of a weird end to the video, but cheers, people. See you in the next one.